Hi everyone, I'm Vone, owner and maker of Vone Knits, and you're watching Dare to Be Original with Vone. And today I wanted to discuss seasons. I um, when you're a solopreneur, you get a lot of things come thrown at you, and you have to learn a lot of new techniques and and all kinds of stuff that you have to learn. You have to learn how to run your social media. You have to learn how to run your accounts. You have to learn how to make products and find new things, all depending on. And if you're a content creator, you have to constantly learn new contents to share and sell to sell your contents, right? And so for me, I got overwhelmed really fast as a solopreneur because I'm like, I have to figure out social media. For me, it was even worse because I was never even on social media. And then I decided, I think I'm going to sell my scars online, having zero social media skills. So I got overwhelmed really fast on having to learn social media and having to learn all the different methods and and then I, I listened to several mentors, and one of them, Shaleen Johnson, mentioned seasons and how she runs her business in seasons. And ever since she mentioned that, things clicked, clicked for me. And it just made sense, and it helped with the overwhelm because... And basically what she was saying was to not do too many things at once. So when I first started, I was like on, I was trying to do Facebook and I was trying to do Twitter and I was trying to do Instagram and I was trying to do all these things and Pinterest. And then when you're trying to do too many of too many things at the same time, you end up doing nothing. You end up doing nothing. You end up going nowhere. So when she introduced that to me, it, it everything made sense. And now I basically run my business in seasons. And when I first started out, I decided, okay, I know Instagram and I'm going to only focus on Instagram. And that's why I use the app If This Then That to right now my season. And when I first started was to build my season up to build my Instagram account to build my Instagram following so that people would see me and know me on Instagram. And now that I've got a healthy following on Instagram, I stumbled upon forming a Facebook group, Dare to Be Original, for crafters and, and the handmade community. And it's not just crafters, it's, it's a whole bunch of awesome cool makers and artists and artisans and jewelry makers and and such but so now the Facebook group became my so I started the year I started ser taking bonus seriously in January and I focused on Instagram and then I changed my season to the Facebook group over the summer and then in the course of being in the Facebook group and and meeting these new makers and everything, I started to have this bug to want to teach and show what I do because there was a lot of new members and, and new people that wanted to start shops and they didn't know about this and they didn't know about that. And then, hence, these YouTube videos. And so now my season is into the YouTube videos and these YouTube videos. So this is the season I'm at right now is trying to make all these YouTube videos. And then pretty soon we're going to circle back into January. And once I get the knack of these YouTube videos, I will probably move on and, and learn and absorb something else. And that's how I run that's how I plan on running my business. Doing things in seasons, it, it lets you concentrate and focus on one thing at a time. So you're not all over the place. So I'm not all over the place. 
And then maybe once I, now that I've gotten Instagram in check, and once I have the Facebook group in check, I will, who knows, maybe work on Pinterest, because Pinterest will probably be my next big beast to handle, because that's all pictures and and content, and you can get a lot of good I hear that you can get, like, Pinterest will work very well in the social media world, and at least for, for my Vone Knits contents. So that's probably where my next big season will be, and I'm not sure when that will take place. But that's why, that's what's great about working in seasons, is I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm focusing on one task at a time, and then just giving that task its all. And when I'm ready for the next one, it'll be, I'll be ready for it. And then I can fo fully focus on that. And if, so if you're feeling overwhelmed with all the things that you have to do, because a lot of, a lot of newbies feel that a lot of like, they decide, a lot of you handmakers decide, okay, I want to have an Etsy shop and Oh, I did forget. That's actually where my first season started out with, is I formed the Etsy store. Once I had the Etsy store, and then I had to figure out how to advertise, and that's how I focused on Instagram. But Etsy was a good season to to spend on. And so that's where, that was where my platform is. That's where my platform is. So... So that's the first tip that I, I share with newbies that want to try to do something and there's all these different places to learn and you want to take everything in. I would highly suggest that you run your your business in that in that aspect or at least when you're learning. Focus on one thing at a time and get really, really good at it and then move on to the next. And then hopefully when you're ready, you can go into the next thing. But don't try to do too many things at the same time all at once because you'll end up going nowhere really, really fast because you'll just be all over the place. So if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you haven't, you should be subscribed by now. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.